I'm an emergency medicine physician uh, and I work at the Alfred Hospital. A large part of the work that I do is dealing with major trauma patients. In my job as well, it's never just sitting around waiting for something to happen, it's just waiting until something happens. I had put everything into work, everything into family, settling the kids in, in, in kindergarten, making sure Karen was happy. We had to move home when we were over here as well. And then I realised that, you know what, not sleeping very well. So I'd get up in the morning, have a headache, have neck pain, take, you know, three aspirins and some paracetamol or neurofen and a glass of water deal with the pain and get on with it. I was eating recklessly at two o'clock in the morning. When I would get to bed, I would not sleep for a few hours because I'd be constantly cycling about things that had happened at work. Zero energy left over for the kids when I come home from work. No energy for Karen to spend a day off with. I wasn't happy with that. So I kind of thought, I, I got to get back into fitness. So I, I, I set about running again. And when I go for my run, I used to run by Enterprise. Swan Street is busy. There are construction sites and all the great coffee shops. Nothing is open at 5 a.m. apart from Enterprise. In the mornings, I would see the same faces. I didn't know anybody, but for 18 months I used to see the same hats. I would see Tyrone's. I, I knew him to see before I ever met him because he was always here and matched the same thing. And Matt is now Karen's trainer. I would see the same cars of the clients. I would see Tyrone's motorbike at the front. So I knew that there was this 5am club, this 6am club. And as I'd run by, I'd see the little plaque on the wall that says, stop running, start squatting. When I would run in the opposite direction, I would see this wall of fame behind me. And it's not that I have aspirations of getting to that level at all, but it just introduced a smack of something different and that's what intrigued me to come in the door and say hey what do you do i met mark and um really really quickly i was convinced that enterprise was something that was just something that would thrust me out of my comfort zone and potentially it will put me on a pathway to actually getting that body shape that i really really wanted um, so i signed up and i haven't looked back um, in actual fact i signed up went home uh, convinced Karen to sign up as well. I thought I knew nutrition, I thought I knew dietetics, but I realized that what I know is it was so superficial. And I realized that, that I get a tutorial every single time I come here because these guys know their stuff. What I know as a, as a doctor, I know the aspect of my job and I know it very well. I know a lot about everything, but at a, at a superficial level to be, able to, to be able to deal with somebody in that moment of crisis. And it really just happened the foggiest that when it came to diet and nutrition, that, that what I knew was so superficial. I'm improving, I feel like I'm a better shape. I feel like I'm a shape that I didn't have before, but it's, it's not really about that. It's everything else that comes with it as well. It does give me that extra percentage of energy at work with the kids to sleep better to have a better relationship with, with, with Karen, just to have, to have better better fun. This has improved all of those little facets of, of, of your life. And it's just made us happier maybe by the end of it, whenever the end comes, maybe the end will never come. Maybe I'll be an a member of Enterprise when I'm 75, but eventually I'll get to that place where I'm, I, I'm, I'm happy with, with how I look, happy with how I feel. I'm probably there already. I still am happy with how I feel. I'm getting happier with how I look. You know, bit by bit, step by step, session by session, week by week, I'm learning a different art, different form. I look forward to my four sessions. It's part of my, my work week. Initially we signed up for 12 weeks. The 12 weeks has turned into six months and the six months will just continue to be a part of our, our, our daily Melbourne life, I think, yeah.